What story will you tell today? Good morning, good evening and good afternoon guys and welcome to a new episode. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you're in this world. So today we are still in the Tulum area in Mexico and basically we are in Yucatan and today we're going to do a cenote this morning which is cenote manati and cenote manati is basically pretty special because you go up the river like that, it's kind of a branch and actually what happens is that right here you have a hole that connects to the ocean that is on the other side. We're gonna go up in the jungle, it's gonna be pretty insane. And then after we're gonna be driving south, 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 south on the coastline because there is like an almost island, a strip of land that's basically splitting lagoons and ocean and it looked absolutely fantastic on Google Maps, on the satellite view, so I really wanna check that out. I have no clue what it's going to look like, but guys, this is what traveling is all about. It's about exploring things you don't know. So I will see you very soon in the water. All right, guys, so we are now in the kayak. We got the water housing for the camera. And it looks really cool, look at that. We are out of the water right now. Trina, how did you like it? I loved it. It's beautiful. It was so nice because this cenote is completely overground, so it's exposed to the sun. So then you can see crystal clear underneath with rays beaming down. A lot of people go diving. Unless you're going to go diving in the caves, honestly, snorkeling is good enough. Because those yeah. divers, they were just diving when we were snorkeling. So It didn't yeah. really make sense. So if you're not doing the cave, the no. passage to the ocean, yeah. Just don't do it. So right now we are driving to the Punta unknown. Oh, we are going to Punta Allen. Basically we're gonna try to reach it. It's pretty far drive, so we'll see where we get. All right, let's get on for the adventure. This is just 25 guys. This is like a dollar. Right now we just entered, it's actually a national park to go to Pontal and it's a reserva and we're just gonna go down so in case you're coming here you have to pay it's just like about a, a bucks fifty, a dollar fifty, a euro fifty, whatever it's, it's kind of cheap and it protects the environment here so make sure you do it and we're super excited to see what it's going to look like because it looks beautiful from the sky, we'll see from the ground All right, guys, look at the map uh, right somewhere on the screen. And this is basically where we are. What is important to notice is that we're on a thin strip of land between the ocean and the lagoon. And I really want to know what the lagoon looks like. We found a little path and this is where we're going right now. Whoa, look at that, guys. That's crazy. So cool. Look at that, guys. Hey, Iggy. One of friend escaping right now. He went across the guy. I can either try to make Alright guys, look at that. This is absolutely incredible. So we are basically on a new bridge and there was an old bridge right here that was built and it's going through the, the reserve at the park. And basically look at that, it is beautiful. Right there I just showed you, you have a crocodile. Actually I think it's an alligator. You've got Trina shooting somewhere, Trina shooting here. And look at those, look at that bird. Wow, so cool, it's so so beautiful. The colors are incredible, everything's incredible.
beach is absolutely beautiful, but most of the people don't even come here. It's such a shame. It's absolutely incredible. I just love it. I managed to fly the drone. It's super windy. The drone keeps drifting, but it's holding up. It's holding up. That's the most important. Whoa, Trina, you're driving on all the holes. So Pierre has taken over driving because I was driving all over the holes, but in actuality, I don't feel a difference. Iguana. Oh, iguana. Sorry guys, you missed it. Take your time, huh? This guy, he's taking his time crossing. Hello. Hello, Patty. You're big, you're eating too much, man. Look at that, guys. There's another one over there. They are just everywhere, actually. Okay guys, so we made it at the end of the road. So basically we went across uh, Punta Allen and I wanted to go until it's not possible to go any further on that piece of land. And you know what? On the way, well, we picked up two hitchhikers and it, they're really cool. So we have Johan and Lueja. Fun fact, uh, Johan is actually a filmmaker making documentaries, so pretty fun. So if you can see behind me, well, there is a lighthouse right here. And we're gonna go, try to go up. It's pretty amazing. The view is really cool. I just want to say this feels absolutely great. If you're in the area and you're not coming to that part, you're missing out big time. All right, if you don't understand the sign, well, I don't understand it either. Guys, we're now exploring the old lighthouse station. It's kind of abandoned, but the lighthouse is still working. So I'm not too sure. There is a guy that went up there, but I'm not too sure how he went there. Uh, I'm checking if there is like some kind of stairs to go under the, the wall or something. Because basically it's a wall, but no entrance. We're gonna explore more. We're gonna find it. Donde esta la entrada? All right, Pierre, tell me what you see. Nothing. Describe it. What do you mean, nothing? All right, guys, now we have to make it up there. I have no clue where we go. Maybe that way. Woo! There we go. All right, better is because it's solar panel powered now. So let's go check. All right, guys, we're getting in exploration. There's a ladder now. This is the lighthouse, guys. Right. Hey, Trina! Look at that, we made it to the top of the lighthouse. It's my first time on top of the lighthouse. This is absolutely insane. The view is beautiful, it's better than the drone. All right guys, I'm going back out. I'm going to help Trina and Luea to come up with uh, Johan. We're gonna help them because it's really, really worth it. And I don't think they should miss it. It's not dangerous at all. And Trina made it too, so let's go back up. And this is for Instagram. Trina, what do you think of the view? It's awesome. All right, so Pierre is flying his drone. We're going to try to get some shots of this amazing right now.
Whenever, just pause, reflect, and enjoy the sunset. We just went down right now, and I'm gonna show you. We, we just found our boat with Trina, because remember, we wanted to live on a sailboat. And look at that, we just found it. We just have to pick it out of the water. Trina, that feels like repeat, right? <laughs> so we are in Punta Island right now, and just so that you know, there are a few boats here that actually us tourists can take to go explore the mangrove and there is also another crocodile here so if we saw it that would be the third of the day which is more than my entire life I think or maybe it's an alligator but it's pretty cool and just so that you know guys I did not plan on shooting again so I put out all the gear of the camera which means I already recorded the outro so I'm gonna put you through with the old pier the one that is in the past so get ready right now one two three that's going to be it for today because you know why we have a long ride home we've got to get all the way back to north of Tulum and it's gonna take us about two hours so uh, we've got to get going now it's getting dark and uh, I think we're getting hungry also so that being said guys if you're in the area you have to check that spot it's amazing I also hope you have enjoyed those views if you did like those views leave a big thumbs up leave us a comment if you want to say anything make sure you share that video with other friends who are going to Tulum and guys if you haven't already which is would be crazy right make sure to subscribe to that channel because a lot more trips are going to come in the future very soon and it's going to be absolutely incredible so with that being said guys remember make the most of your time on this planet you never know when it ends see you guys